Okay, so DJ Vic Vapor with you again, Bitwig Studio, performing live, DJing live, all that good stuff, studio to the stage, whatever we want to call it. So we've kind of had a brief discussion on uh, the gear that we're going to use. It's all right here in front of us. We understand that. But I want to take a minute in this video and talk to you about what our specific performance needs will be. So, I mean, what strategies or what structure do we want to use when we're out there live on the stage and performing? You know, there's endless ways you can approach this. So let's talk about if you have your own material, if you have an album, a couple albums, or even if you have just maybe, you know, five or six tracks, things that you know you want to play. You could, of course, export that out as one long track and then have that ready to go in your lineup or in your rotation and queue it up and, uh, you know, mix it in whenever you're ready. Or if you're planning maybe to, say, have um, a live performer with you, if there's a drummer that, you know, helped you uh, on your track or is able to, uh, you know, effectively drum your track, if there's a bass player or even if there's someone like a singer that lended vocals, let's say you want to have one or multi multiple people perform with you live. In that case, you, you really can't export the full track and have it ready. You need to have what they call stems. And that's what I want to talk about. One of the ways we can approach performing live with Bitwig Studio. So you can have the full track, of course, and mix it in ready to go. Or you can have stems, which are each layer of the track. So there would be a stem, a, a stem is essentially the bass track, um, the vocal track, the drumming track, and whatever other instruments may be in there that you've kind of condensed down and maybe sectioned out into what I typically do is eight tracks. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight layouts here on my controller. So I try to condense things down to eight, sometimes even fewer tracks and then you can export those out individually with inside of bitwig studio as an individual track and then you can have essentially those things layered within your um, template layout so if a bass player is there and wants to play the bass with you you just mute that track and then the you know the track's playing without the bass and the same thing with a vocalist so if the vocalist is there and they want to lend their vocals you can just mute the vocal track and allow them to sing along. So there's some flexibility that you need to consider depending on what your actual environment's going to look like. But from just a straight DJing perspective where it's just going to be you and the audience and you and the equipment, I would still recommend stems for your own original pieces. And we'll take a look at how to organize and create and get those set up inside of Bitwig Studio. And I'll also share the, um, not really the importance, but the... Uh, advantages of doing things as far as original tracks within a STEM environment. So let's go ahead and move on to the next uh, video.